Hello, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. Say what? I'm first again? I can't believe it. It seems like every time I do these live feeds, I'm the first one here. It's kind of weird. It's kind of strange. Whoops. Oh, sorry about that. I, I forgot to turn my volume down on the chat side. And so there, hey, SJ's Mixed Adventures is here. Hello. How you doing? So you're the first one right after me. Very good. And here is Guten Abend. The guy from the Black Forest, Leon97 Germany, is here. Funk Dad Forcelli is here. And a happy Turkey Day weekend from Stackin' AG47. John Hartley is here. It is a gold, silver, black Friday. And we are going to be doing a little live comment review. Hey, hey, hey. The corn stacker G is right here. And there is Oxy88. And actually, I'm glad Oxy stopped by because I want to address a little something here. Um, Oxy had mentioned that he had responded uh, to a couple of my comments and I missed them. And that's the problem with the, uh, with it seems like YouTube doesn't notify whenever there's any new personal messages, but they also rarely notify when there's a response to a message. So I'm sorry if I missed your, your messages for so long there, but Chuck Tenner's here and Stephen Heath sends greetings representing the city of Sheffield, a great city that makes the best deal. And I've got a big chunk of it here in the form of a blade. Thanks to Stephen Heath. Very nice indeed. All right. All right. Yes. And uh, somewhere warm, hopefully. Yep. Yep. Yes, indeed. Oxy. And, uh, Ooh, Funk Dad Forcelli bought some nautical ounces and some proof Bitcoin rounds. Wow. Some proof Bitcoin. Are they silver Bitcoin rounds? Or I'm here. I'm gonna, gonna dip in them. We're gonna do a live comment review here, here in a little bit, but let me uh, take a thing here. Mm. Not Black Friday anymore. It's heavily pigment, heavily pigmented Friday. Yeah. There you go. Oh. A silver agent is here. Hello, Sal. He made one. So silver agent made a live stream. That's very good. All right. John Harley asked, how do you send the PM on YouTube? I'm going to probably do a video about that. But what you do, um, John, is you go to the channel page and then go to the about section. And there, there, there will be a link to send a PM there or send a message and maybe a pull down menu. But yeah, you'll be able to do that. So silver agent. Just got his other three Fortitude rounds came in. Wow, you got three more, Silver Agent. Wow, that's incredible. Wow, isn't that a total of six now you have? <clears throat> Amazing. I think you may have bought more than anybody. Um, we did have um, Adrian bought five, but if you bought six, that's pretty good. Wow. Let's see here. Jake is love. Anyone looking for the 2018 Rwanda Loon or dog? I've seen pictures of it. And uh, somebody had did get some, and uh, I think it was Shadow Stack. He may have gotten a gold one or maybe some silver ones, and they actually do look better in person than in doing the renderings. Okay, Silver Agent got five. Okay, cool. Very cool. Nice. Uh, Justin Bustin, 28. Bought a silver cock statue. Interesting. Very cool. Uh, I don't know what to say about that, but I never knew they made such a thing. Yeah, Shadow Stock does get a lot of stuff. Uh, it'd be shiny after you use it. I have a bullion dog. Okay, cool. I want a silver lunar dog. Where are they? Um, well, Grizzman, the silver lunar dogs. And I'm going to pop this chat out here. Pop out chat. We're going to be going to the comment section here um, pretty shortly. Here, the Christo 68. Sal, the Royal Canadian Mint just released a first Bitcoin set. Check my channel for the video. Cool. Yeah, I will do that. I will do that. I'll check that out. Um, very cool. Um, hello, Poppy Stuff. Good to see you. Thank you, Christo 68. You know, I think you sent me an email about that. And uh, I'll have to check that again. So thank you for that reminder very much. Very cool. Um, let's see. Okay. Gorn Stacker G is here. Silver Backstacker. Laura Blade did a video on some bus. I got some too. 
I don't think I published them. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. Jake is love silvergold.be has them in stock right now. Um, I think that's a British or a European site, I believe. The Rwanda giraffes are sexy. JM Bullion. Okay. Nice. So what's up? We're just chilling like Bob Dylan here. You know, it's a it's a it's a Black Friday here. Sal, would you uh, be interested in silver swapping? Have lots of SSB proofs and BUs. Well, Chuck, I typically don't do trades, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, let me uh, hold on. Let me let me moderate this thing here. Let's see here. I'm gonna. I wonder for should I? Uh, let's see here. Should I put Justin uh, Bustin twenty eight? Make him a moderator. What do you think? No, I'm kidding. Obviously, he's the one that's a, with these uh, offensive comments. So just keep it on the keep it on the uh, on the um, safe side there, Justin. You can have a little fun, but that one just a little, a little bit too far, if you know what I'm saying. I got me some. Uh, so yeah, so uh, Chuck, yeah, I typically don't really do uh, trades, and it's not because of um, um, it's just. Yeah, there's just um, I typically don't do it, but thanks for the offer. I know a lot of people enjoy doing that, and uh, but I just not something I really got into. Corn stackers tired. If you had had a long day, and it's been a pretty long Thanksgiving. I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. By the way, those Americans and uh, yeah, very good shopping and all that good stuff going on. Kitty box. Ooh. Silverback Stacker put beach bum habanero on my turkey. Pretty good stuff. Nice. Uh, Leon is never having fun. We Germans don't even know what fun th the fun thing is. I hear you. Well, have some fun. I've heard good things about beach bum's hot sauce. Yeah. Well, poppy stuff, we don't have to worry about that anymore with that guy. So hopefully we won't have the other one here. But anyways, but let's see here. Okay, well, what do you think, guys? Shall I? Uh, let's see here. Should I start the comment review? Let's do that. Let's do a little comment review, and then I'm going to come back to you guys. Let's see what we got going on here. Let me see if I can make this happen. I am going to go to, uh, where are we going? We got to get everything set up to get it going. And then we'll have a little comment love here. Yes, indeed. That's how we like to do it. And I think I have some catching up to do and some coffee to drink. Mm. Ah. Let's see here. Okay, here. Mason Jarbo is new here. Good to see you, Mason. Thanks for coming by. I certainly appreciate it. We like to have a little fun here. What I do is uh, something called a live comment review, where I basically shout out people who leave comments on my uh, videos. And we've got a couple to catch up on here, and a couple that I posted the last couple of days here. And uh, this is what we're going to do. So for those of you who have commented and watched, I certainly appreciate it. By the way, I think Colonel was in the house here. I thought I saw Colonel. So hello, Colonel, if you're still with us. All right. Very good. Let's scroll down. Just getting to the point where I can get this thing started here. Let's uh, start sharing this screen here so you don't have to worry about seeing my little icon here um, moving around here. Where are we? Comments. There we go. Okay, let's get down to the business here. Where are we going here? Yeah, we got a little bit of catching up to do. I've been a little behind with the holiday here. You know what I'm saying? Ah. All right, here we go. Here we go to eat. It's, it's not polite to talk with your um, um, mouth full. A message just sent, Sal. Okay, thanks, John. I'll check it after the live stream. Mmm. Ah, let me get a sip here. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. Now, Ham on Rye has gone back into the archives. 
and Sunshine Minting Bar video I did uh, sometime. He said, this is what you sound like four years ago. Yes, I do sound a little bit different way back when. I think that might have been my very first video, actually. Well, somebody went back and checked that out. I tried the Russian accent thing. just wasn't working out for me. You know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, yeah. And uh, let's see. Here. Okay, Funk Dad for Sally. This is one. This is a video I posted late on Wednesday evening. Probably the timing was bad on it. But if you had it, if you had a hat, if you haven't had a chance to see it, I encourage you to check out about how capitalism made Thanksgiving great. And um, you might like get a kick out of that video. And Funk Tad checked it out, which I appreciate you, Funk Tad. He says thanks for sharing your Thanksgiving story. Have an awesome holiday. Well, thank you, sir. Glad you appreciate you watching and everything. And then Wall Monitor says the Indians were ungrateful dindus. And I'm not sure what he means by dindus, but I think they were pretty, pretty grateful. And uh, this was a, a time when they worked together, the Indians and the and the colonists. And there was more of that than people think. A lot more cooperations. Uh, then uh, a lot of things. Okay, oops, I've just been accused of, at, at causing 9-11. Dang it. Sorry about that. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Okay, Chuck Tenner says, Sal, thanks given, uh, given to, thanks given to you. Is it possible they came up with the first plan on a wrong interpretation of Scripture? I'm no Bible scholar, but I see Scripture as one obeys. God will bless abundantly. Deuteronomy 28. I believe I am biblical in stating that God's teaching on money can be summed up in these eight words. Earn honestly, give generously, invest wisely, enjoy completely. May your Thanksgiving be the best ever. Well, thank you for the comment, Chuck. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, in a perfect world, as um, William Bradfield was saying, that, you know, in a perfect world, in a utopian world, actually, um, you know, communism and socialism could work. But, you know, with man's uh, imperfection, it's just we're not there yet. And I don't think we'll ever be there here on Earth. And I think that's what the whole lesson of this was. Anyway, Slacker Stacker's here. Hello, Slacker Stacker. All right. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you, Jake, as love. All right. So, okay, I see. Maybe for indigenous people, too. But yeah, well, thank you. I didn't know what that meant, but thanks. Okay, um, Space Bunny, great Thanksgiving story. MTGA, which is the hashtag that I started, it didn't really go anywhere. It didn't trend. I thought maybe for sure it would. It says, great Thanksgiving story, hashtag MTGA, make Thanksgiving great again. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, Massachusetts Prepper. A very good story indeed, my friend, and I hope you and your family have a very happy Thanksgiving. Well, the kitties and I certainly did. It was a great time. And thank you very much, MP. And I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family, too, up there in Massachusetts, which is where it all began. You know what I'm saying? Worthless says boobies on a board on my crypto hack Bitcoin smacked video. You can't say Bitcoin is bad because exchange got hacked. That's like saying dollars are bad because someone robbed the bank. Well, I don't think I said that, sir. Uh, I mentioned that it wasn't Bitcoin itself that got hacked. Uh, but anyways, um, let's see here. All right. Ania, happy Thanksgiving, Sal. I've been MIA for the past uh, month because I've been really sick with my MS. I'm doing better now. And have gratitude for my health improving. Many blessings to you and your loved ones this holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, Nia, I know I've missed you. I've noticed you haven't been around. And uh, um, and I meant to reach out. It's been kind of a crazy time. There's a couple of people like Call Silver as well hasn't been around for a while. And uh, But I hope that uh, you are uh, glad you're doing better. And I'm sorry you went through that the last month. We certainly miss you. But it's good to see you back. And I pray for your health improving. Uh, definitely. So thank you so much. Kalonic Stacker, happy Thanksgiving to all the citizens of, those, of the Salivation Nation, MAGA. And let's do the hashtag and make Thanksgiving great again. All right. Thank you, Kalonic Stacker. 
Beach Bump Silver. Awesome, man. Would love to see all that gold. This is on the King Tut gold uh, story that I posted. I agree, Beach Bum. And there's a lot of buzz surrounding your um, hot sauce. All right. Let's see here. Justin Bustin, 828. What are you talking about, KKK? Let's. Yeah, I don't know. Let's remove that. We don't like the KKK here. Let's see here. All right. Enough of the KKK stuff, guys. Come on. Stop the trolling. Let's see. Let's put... Uh... Yeah, I'm behind on videos too, Slacker Stacker. My moderators. This is this is genuine concern, Mike Frederick. I have genuine concern. Let's see here. Justin Bustin, come on, man. Let's put you in timeout. See, I can know how to mod. Yeah, no mods tonight. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, and I don't expect them because it is the holiday weekend and the like, so I'm going to have to keep a closer eye and go slowly up these comments here. Here we go. All right, Silver Torch uh, 66. Great video, Sal. Helps us remember what Thanksgiving's all about. That's right. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Silver Torch. Appreciate it. Hey, look here. And now, and now, yeah, I gave him a timeout. It may be a golden banjo. It could be. Hi, Mason Jarbo. Good to see you. <clears throat> All right. And that, my friends, is why I don't trust a bunch of ones and zeros in a computer as currency. He's talking about crypto hack, Bitcoin smacked. And um, yeah, and that's really the bottom line. There's a lot of intricacies to Bitcoin. And everything surrounding it. And so if you're not up on it, it can bite you if you don't choose the right thing. Ronnie Anderson had a minute. Wanted to say, hi, SM. Hope you're doing well. Well, thank you, Ronnie. Haven't seen you in a while. Looking for platinum deals. Yeah, platinum stayed relatively low, so it's very cool. Yeah, definitely. Let's all remember, Sal, how bad that his videos are. A holiday treat. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm not the, you know. But hey, Mike. Frederick, by the way, he's not Frederick Brand. Just clear everything up. Mike Frederick, check out uh, you. Maybe you did. We'll see if your comments up here. You may have checked out my capitalism. How capitalism made Thanksgiving great. Happy Thanksgiving, Sal Anthony says. Well, thank you, sir. CCP says silver and gold will always have physical uses, and that is one of the reasons why I prefer them. Um, we may also be gambling with silver and gold, but I truly think the risks are a lot lower than crypto. So, yeah, that's exactly right. Everything's a gamble, really, when it's all bold and said and done, CCD, so you're exactly right. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Mike Frederick took the time to correct one of his typos. Mm, I love that. I love that he did that. Mm. All right. Uh, Cyber uh, Goud, Goud Hunt, Hunt J says, as a citizen of the Netherlands, I say give it back to the crime museum. The current new Ukraine nationalist government is as corrupt as, as Russia. <clears throat> well, thank you for your thoughts there. Um, I don't know who the leadership is there, but I thought that the pr prior leadership was pro-Russian. I don't know. Bozo nailed it. Bozo nailed it right here. He got it with his comment there. It's exactly right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Hey, half dollar. What's up? Uh, actually, poppy stuff? No, but I am eating. I'm halfway eating healthy poppy stuff. I am having um, myself. A Nature Valley Crunched Oaks and Dark Chocolate Bar. I love this stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's Alan Gold approved. And it's maybe even Mike Frederick approved. Mm. Oh, I love it. Mm. All right. Where are we at? 
Billy Gagne says, rip it apart on the Scythian gold thing and let us buy it piece by piece. That's a good idea. It's also a good Slayer song, piece by piece. Very good. Thank you, sir. Our time preppers on how capitalism saved Thanksgiving or made Thanksgiving great. Great holiday, only have to cook and then eat. Then eat. Dishes my job and leftovers and be thankful. Have a great one, community. Great. Well said, BTP. Well said. Um, all right. Israel T on the Scythians and Gold video original. Their actual name is Scythians or Scythians. Hmm, all right. I think the, the K is silent. Scythians. All right. Very good. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Nathaniel Lowe. These are always uh, such convoluted and counterintuitive deals. Thanks for the much varied info, Sal. Thank you. And I try to do things a little bit different here. You know, from time to time, just whip it up a little bit. You know, from time to time. It's all good. Oh, chocolate is no good for the digestion. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Well, you know, that might be why I've got... Hmm. Okay, I didn't realize that. I figured the oats and stuff would be good for you and the chocolate. I don't eat a lot of chocolate, a whole lot. But I'll cut back. Mm. All right, Corn Stacker. Thanks for coming by, my friend, even though you retired. I appreciate you, sir. I hope you rest up and take it easy. I spilled some of my coffee. Sal, do you ever get a hold of Junius Maltby? Um, no, I haven't got a hold of him. Um, I'll catch up with him. I'm gonna we'll have him back in for a. I might try to um to do a. You know, I'm gonna see. Maybe I'm not sure. I can't commit exactly, but try to do a hangout type of deal. What up, Mr. Monkey Swag? Good to see you. Silver Philly. Get some chocolate gold coins. I got some. German buyer. Yeah, poppy stuff. This doesn't have a lot of chocolate in it. It's more oats or just kind of like, you know what I mean? But that is news. I didn't realize that chocolate didn't, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't help your digestion. I didn't realize that. So I'm going to probably cut back a little bit. Not that I have a whole lot anyway, but. All right. Brian Grant says, who benefits from the myth of communism? Certainly not the working class. What you are calling capitalism, if it's not based on sound money. Our republic was founded on a bimetallic monetary system. Where in the world proclamations in our republic is it ever described as capitalism? Who benefits from calling a monetary system capitalism when it can be corrupt into serfdom it, it is now? We will never, ever be free of it while they continue to control the language we use to describe it. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure exactly what you're saying there, but our system of, 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 of government, you know, we're certain probably not pure capitalist society right now, but we're probably as, uh, as capitalistic as one can be for a first world nation, that is. And, um, you know, it's about individual liberty and the free markets, essentially. Now, we don't have a metallic monetary system, unfortunately. We should, but we don't. But uh, other than that, you know, we shall see. So thank you, Brian, for those comments. Wesley Q. Ruiz, you fired. Not sure what that means. Silver Flash. Yes, most monkey swag, Mr. Let me let me do this real quick. Mr. Monkey Swag says over here that it's nice to see Silver Flash commenting. It's been a long time since we've seen him and we do miss Silver Flash and good to see you back, sir. And uh thank you. Yes, we miss old Silver Flash. He's another one in the community who will post from time to time and then take a break and it's natural, it's okay. Some people do that, but it's good to see you back. 
EJ732, great video. I tell the story to at least one person every year. The truth has been suppressed into a fairy tale. That's right, about Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. Mateo Man, hey Sal, happy Thanksgiving. Ye is a is a later way of writing uh, this symbol E where thorn or thorn is a letter for T-H. E was pronounced T-H-E, just as we do, V. Oh, wow. Very interesting, Mateo Man. Thank you for that information. Amazing how language has evolved over the years. Very good. Okay. Silver Honda is working, watching the great live chat at the same time. Well, thank you, Silver Honda. We're here to keep you entertained while you work. Yes, indeed. Okay, Silver Backstacker, thanks for coming by, my friend. Yes, have a good one. Thanks for coming by. Oktoberfest beer, a little dark and sweet. That's what I like too, Poppy Stuff. I like the dark, sweet beer. Hello, Mud Swat. And uh, is that good for digestion? Is beer good for digestion? Maybe it is. That's going to actually concern me now, the whole chocolate thing. I never knew that. Ah. Uh, but I love dark, dark beer. It's definitely, that's awesome stuff. Okay, all right. BGP, uh, this is about, is the world of numismatics dying from the coin show thing that I did? He says, I got into numismatics six to seven years ago. He's 37 years old now. And, uh, but considering that I'm still raising three kids, my buying habits remain on the cheap. When I go to coin shows, the prices on the news items are always way too high for my budget. I do see a lot of younger people at shows I attend. I think a lot of buying now takes place online, which has its uh, positives and negatives aspects. I buy most of my stuff online in a local coin store. I rarely buy items at shows, though there is one particular dealer in the annual show that I always buy from. He has a, uh, has a variety of stuff and is always within my budget. Well, very cool. That's definitely a way to do it. All right. Yes. Uh, let's see. Celery. Yeah, I know. I need to get the celery thing. That's um, um, Ravens told me about that, too. I need to get some celery. So, oh, beer gives you gout. Oh, boy. I, better, I don't drink a whole lot of beer, so I, don't have, I guess I don't have to worry about that. I've heard that soda can do that, too. Oh, let's see here. Sam Adams Chocolate Bock is out now. Ooh, that does sound good. Nice. 10.5% alcohol in it. Yeah. All right, let me get back to you guys. I'm going to come up here. Silver Cat says, thanks for the story and history lesson on the uh, capitalism made Thanksgiving great video. Um, hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving and give this cat some turkey. Well, thank you, sir. Hope you had a great one as well. They should sit down and have Thanksgiving dinner together. Happy Thanksgiving, Sal. Thanks, JRW3. Appreciate that. Silver Jaguar says that our Indian reservation Thanksgiving is a day of sadness and mourning, but most people do not know that or tell that. Yeah, I think that's just it. I think there's a lot of misnomers around Indian reservations too um, because the first Thanksgiving was about people coming together from Indian tribes and uh, the um, – a white man at the time. There's then we got Bruce McGrew says happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Well, thank you, Bruce. Hope you had a good one too. Tricky guy. An armed robber might get say fifty thousand dollars, and this is on the crypto hack video. It would be a good haul. Five hundred one dollar bills. A team thick, easy to carry. Let's see someone carry out that much value in silver. One hundred eighty three pounds. No need for a die pack. That's right. Indeed. Yes. All right. Uh, Pete Dealer uh, says, how does the one ounce gold eagle test with a magnet, seeing as 22 carat with copper as the filler metal, the one ounce gold buffalo is 24K. This is on my Can You Trust a Magnet Test video. Um, so how how would they do the magnet test? You know, and I'm, they're not as reliable for gold. Uh, it's just really not because gold doesn't have quite as much of a diagmatic property. So I would use another test for those. Um, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, our text man is here. Yeah. I didn't, don't worry. I didn't feed my cats Turkey. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving, Sal from Silver Patriot. 
Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. All right, here's New Miss MM. He likes to do these little uh, comments. He'll go a couple of videos. So silver has actually been climbing the last couple of days, pre-Thanksgiving. Interesting. Meanwhile, I'm still picking up deals, particularly from Provident. Some at spot. Yep, I just posted a deal about that. All right, and then on my why the 2017 um, kangaroo or the Krugerrand will be a loser video as if today they're like 40 bucks still way too high mcm always fups they're offering uh examples are like the florida crocodile a few years ago released at the fun show the silver commemorative for gusta st gaunce etc i like mcm even before they were acquired by government but now that the vagabonds of government have acquired them man i still like the government catalog though for for john material yeah i do too it's fun to look at while you're in the john that's for dang sure all right. Uh, also, I gauge um, what I buy the, with the vibes of the old crusty farts at the coin club because they have been at this for 50 plus years. The growth in silver is silver is silver. Oxy88, who is here? Uh, haha, I love the pronunciation of the surname. Yeah, I, I messed up a, um, some of the names in that Scythian like I do normally the four names. It's a, it's a legitimate complaint. I don't do very good at um, at uh, pronunciation of the names. And if, if Oaksy88 replies to this comment, I probably won't get notification of it. So I apologize in advance. Hello, Numismatic Oki. <laughs> Little bass riff for Numismatic Oki there. Nice. Okay, a silver strike. Very cool. Thanks to you and Donald for that one. Well, thank you. All right. Why would anyone dissolve any. Uh, gold well you know it's uh check that video if you have that chance you know what i'm saying oh i did breaking news oxy 88 will not respond to my comment um on on there because he's watching live right now so he doesn't need to respond to it but just in case you know he gets a whim at four in the morning there in england and decides to respond i probably won't see it uh, capitalism is awesome, Adrian says. Amen, brother. I'm a fan. I am a fan of it. That's what I'm talking about. Gold Silver Blog is here. And this is the guy I kind of ribbed a little bit for uh, uh, the other comments, but we're all cool now. He says, that's some deep gold. He went to my almost 100 ounces of gold video here. He says, I want it all. Pamp is one of my favorites. I love all things Swiss. I'll make a Swiss shy slide. Slideshow next. Maybe check out my video I made today, which I did. It was a cool video. Tricky guy says, Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you didn't have to loosen your belt. I didn't. And you want to know why? Because I didn't wear a belt, tricky guy. Thank you, my friend. And by the way, we don't have the hard 40 yet, and you're not here. And maybe that's why. The Stacking Stoner is in the house here, which is cool. Nice. Thanks, Sal. John Harley, this is on the $5 below spot, the double dealing that provident metals has a video i posted um on thanksgiving evening um silver wolverine says thank you sal hope your belly is as full of mine it is and it was it's full tonight too and uh as beach bump silver says yeah i've been checking it out and the silver eagles look okay and the uh mk bar are sold out now thanks man atmex won't do anything to 12 a.m tonight yeah right thanks beach bum and then Colonel comes back, and he says, "In a multitude of turkey to tur turkey to did you, my friend?" Well, thank you, Colonel. That was a tongue twister. Thank you, sir. By the way, just for the record, I cannot see Tricky Guy's comment right now. I have no ability to see it. He's a ghost, which means I can't see his comments. So if I do, if we do hit the hard forty, well, I won't have any idea whether or not tricky guy is here or not all right we're back to the front again worthless has boobies on a board i just kind of love that name i don't know why <laughs> i don't know because maybe it's because i like boobies i don't know how these companies can still do this and still make money you should call one of them on a recorded line and ask they're selling the stuff for very little over spot by the time they pay off all their expenses they have been losing money i guess like the old saying goes they lose money in every sale but make it up in volume and I think that's probably right. You know, I don't know. My guess is I know there's some sort of insurance they have or some ways they can um, hedge themselves against uh, the markets. And I think that's probably what they're doing. Um, 
And uh, but I don't know that they're going to really uh, uh, go out of their way to really explain everything. Uh, but but we'll see. Yes, that's a Freudian slip there, half dollar one. <laughs> I got tongue twisted there. Oh man! By the way, is uh, is Mike Frederick still here? I need to know if Mike Frederick is still here. Say something, Mike Frederick, if you're still here. Haffy, can you get a hold of him? Get him back in here. I need to ask him something. All right, Bozo. I got the email, too. Um, still deciding what to order. Happy Turkey Day, Sal. Edit, I got a gold two and a half peso and a random American Eagle paid with credit card to get free shipping. Came to 101.09. Wow, nice score, Bozo. That's awesome. I thought Bozo was here. No, not, not Frederick Brandt, Mike Frederick. And, and it's that's it's Alan Gold, Haffy. It's Alan Gold. It's his other account. I don't know why he's got another account. And why he would need that, but apparently he's not here but hey silver wolverine's here all right very good we're we're almost halfway done with these comments and we're gonna come back and and do a little powwow here tongue twister okay let me do this tongue twister here so i can warm up my tongue so that i can finish and, and enunciate these other comments here this is from text man 81 i slit the sheet the sheet i slid upon the slitted sheet i sit that's about as fast as I'm going to be able to say it. All right. Hey, Mateo Man is here. All right. Hey, hey, C-172 Pilot Dude is here. Nice. All right, Poppy Stuff says, okay, here, here we go. All right. Mike Frederick is back. Okay, Mike, thank you for coming back. I know you wish I was dead, but I'm still alive right now. But I wanted to tell you that I took your advice. I finally watched the last Mohi uh, Wait a minute. What is it? What was the freaking movie called? The Last of the Mohicans with Daniel Day Lewis. Is that what it's called? I watched it today. Let me see here. The Last Mohican. Let me put this thing up here. Last of the Mohicans. The last. That's the one you want me to watch. I watched it. Is that the movie you wanted me to watch? All right, Oaksy88 says, I'd scoop up five of them pandas, best play for sure. There's $30 coin over here. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. It's, the VAT will kill you over there in the UK, that's for sure. Oh, the Stacking Stoner loved The, uh, the Last of the Mohicans. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie. I will find you. Yeah, that was an epic line. I do remember that line. It was good. It started off a little slow. I mean, there was some action and stuff in there. Yes, I, I'm season eight. I'm not as big a fan of Funk Tad Forcelli. It's all that dramatic, you know, lines. Yeah, it's about time. I know it took me long enough, but it was a pretty good movie. You were right. It was pretty good. Uh, let's see here. The world's fastest Indian. Okay. CCT. I'll have to check that out. The world's fastest Indian. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Kendall Kid says, gobble, gobble up some coinage, Sal. Yes, indeed, with these deals coming out, if you can do it. All right, Stephen Heath. Stephen Heath says, a happy mass murder of Indians day. Sal, enjoy, enjoy your day, dude. Thank you. All right. I know that's, yeah, that's a little bit. He's uh he's referring to run to the hills, I know. Bozo, yeah, Bozo is a man. Smoke signals is a good movie, okay. Okay. <clears throat> um Funk Tad Forcelli says Provident no longer sells to Minnesota residents, so I'm hoping Jay and Boyan has some deals tomorrow. I want to get the Rwanda nautical ounce and you're the dog coins. I'm going to get the nautical ounce too, but why in the world would they not sell to you? That's crazy. State laws prevent it. That's nuts. Minnesota residents can't get any silver from, um, wow, from Provident Metals. Weird. Okay, John Hartley says, got my monthly eagles a little cheaper than usual. Very good. Awesome. 
Right, Mike Frederick says to gobble some talent. You really need it. Well, I know. I'm, I need some talent. Oh, Provident Metals is creeped out by Al Franken. <laughs> I think everybody is nowadays. Let's see here. Okay. Silver Hondo. Everyone got to go back to work. God bless. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Silver Hondo. Appreciate you coming. Thanks for, for listening while you're working. I appreciate it, my friend. Have a good rest of the day at work there. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Scully's Corner. Uh, hi, Sal. Shani and I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Well, happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you so much for your everything you do and the great videos you put out. I really enjoy your live chats, scam buster calls, and all the content you put out to keep us informed and entertain us. We appreciate you very much, my friend. Well, thank you, Scully. It's corner. That's very nice of you to say. And I certainly appreciate your viewership. And it's comments like that that keep me going. I certainly appreciate that so much. Um, and uh, now to balance it out. Uh, that nice comment will be balanced with this one. Sal is everyone's worst case scenario. So all right, there's the counterbalance. So we're an equal opportunity here. All right, indeed. All right. Whatever happened to Fresen? Hmm, I'm not sure, Poppy Stuff, who Fresen is. But uh, Nemus Manakoki says, everyone is creeped out by Al Franken. Even Anthony Weiner isn't going near Al Franken. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Papa William says, uh, these are the gold and silver eBay deal video, or eBay warning kind of thing to sellers and buyers. Salivate, you see how the bullion dealers know nothing. They dropped, the drop occurred due to the Fed minutes anxiety to only skyrocket once inflation and the Fed minutes were released. This is why the next, that why the idea that bullion dealers know the future is 100% fake news and worse than conspiracy theory. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, that's a good point. They did end up going up again. But, yeah, it does seem somewhat coincidental, though. Let's see here. Uh, okay, Mike Frederick says, uh, oh, an inside joke. Okay, that's cool, poppy stuff. All right, Sal wants to know if there is a price to delete my channel. It must happen. Hmm, well, let's see here. It There might be a price. It very well could be. Send me some offers, Mike Frederick, and I'll entertain them. Let's see here. Okay, the invisible one. Yeah, busted it out and used it. Thanks. When are you coming back to Baltimore, Sal? Yeah, I need to go back up to her. I went. Uh, I was wanting to go to the last coin show, which was um, a couple weeks ago, but had no money. Ooh, SS. Who is SS leaving? Silver Stacker. All right, Slacker Stacker. Better go, everyone. Have a nice day. Take care. See you soon, Slacker Stacker. Appreciate you, my friend. Have a good evening. Thanks for coming on. I certainly appreciate it. All right. All right. Now we got Barb back in. All right. I've only had to moderate once. Barb, thank you. And I just I didn't want to bother my uh, my uh, what do you call those people moderators on on a holiday weekend. But thank you. All right, Colonel's back. Hey, Colonel, you're back. Have to blast running a 500 sub giveaway that I need tending to. Well, thank you, uh, Colonel. Very nice of you. Check out Colonel's channel for that. Nice. All right, Abby Silverstack says, hello. Good to see you. All right, Mike Frederick is, is just is begging me. Well, there's got to be a monetary value to the begging there, Mike. You know what I'm saying, homie? All right. Hey, I should get some kudo points from you for watching The Last of the Mohicans. I have all one hour and 56 minutes of it. I watched it all just for you. I did it for you, man. All right. Jim Farrell, happy Thanksgiving. Man, I'm stuffed. Yeah, I hear you. We're all stuffed. Thank you, Jim Farrell. Big Bomber Stacker says, got the same email. We have till Sunday to use it. Okay. Waiting to see what pops up tomorrow. Yes, indeed. So that deal for the $5 below spot is going on till Sunday. Nick is here. Hey, yo. Good to see you, Nick. <clears throat> Stephen, he says, um, I'll be your agent. I'll take 10% fee. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I wasn't in a bad part of town there um, in Baltimore. 
Uh, if I would have walked a couple of blocks one way, then I would have been in the bad part. Uh, 160 minutes, you'll never get back, Sal. Oh, man. All right, Tip Up Silver says, on my opening $50 eBay uh, box, by the way, I'm going to eat this Kit Kat bar live that I got from the Mystery Unbox here after we finish here. Actually, no, I won't. I'm going to save it because that's chocolate. I don't want to, I don't want to, not, not today. We'll do that on another day. Tip Up Silver for an honor of poppy stuff. Um, let's see here. Okay. Tip up silver. That piece of wood you found is called fat wood. It's used to start a fire. Thank you. Tip up silver. I did actually learn that, um, earlier from folks in the comment section. And I certainly appreciate that very much. All right. On the $5 below spot deal, Eric Starzak says, excellent coupon. I will investigate after I consume a huge plate of food. Need turkey now. Understandable. All right. CCT, yeah. I just spotted one of my recent ad uh, additions on the on the sales list, and it looked like a very good price. Yes, indeed, very good. AG Argentum says, all these dealers selling silver at spot. Never seen anything uh, like this before. Signals to me a huge decline in prices in the horizon. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of of the same mind. Uh, silver saver, a multitude of turkey dude. Happy Thanksgiving, Sal. Well, thank you, Silver Saver. And check out Silver Saver's uh, channel. She has unveiled her new Silver Saver bars, which are sandcast, which look really cool. All right. Very good. Okay. Mr. Eminem 911. Happy, have a great Thanksgiving. Hope all did, too. I'm waiting on a good deal on a 10th ounce of gold. All right. Money metals in their special section they have the one tenth ounce random coins and 5.5% of her spot scratch and dent coins. Ania is back, says stuff with turkey. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Provident deals are the best so far from the dealers. All right, yes. It does seem like five percent five dollars under spots, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> I've got fat wood right here, Sal. Magnet works for maples and four nines, but not the eagles. Yep, Mr. Eminem. Yeah, there's Mr. Eminem 911's here right now. I'm glad you had a good Thanksgiving. Check out his channel. Posted some great videos. And check his video out on uh, on black, black Americans on coins. That's a great video. Talks about the Washington Carver halves and the Booker T. Washington calves. Halves, not calves. Half dollars. <clears throat> a great video indeed. Love that. Awesome. Uh, Tomoko's Enterprise. The dealers uh, down there are amazing. It would be great if they can make it happen up here in Canada. Great update though, yeah. I don't know if Silver Gold Bull has those kind of deals or not there, there Dean. Happy Thanksgiving, Sal. I'd like to have that Gold Britannia. I don't have one. Yeah, the Gold Britannias are awesome. Very cool. Thank you, David A. David A is the man. David Argento. Yes. <clears throat> D-Wings World, no clue on who owns it, but I'm against the Russian taking of the area because they mainly wanted the oil access. Plus, Putin wants to rebuild the Soviet Union as it was. Yep, I agree. Ex-KGB agent. I don't trust Putin. Lady Liberty Stacker says, Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours, Sal. I got this email too. <clears throat> I need to study it more. I'm wondering if they will honor the coupon over the holiday weekend. It's the best deal I've seen thus far myself. Well, I don't think they'll have any deal on cast iron um, wear, but hey, they'll have some on precious metals, which is cool. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Mr. M and M and M and M and M. I know. I think I say too many M and M and Ms, don't I? Mowing in the wind. Yes, that will happen. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Half dollar one. Mobile web will not let me use the code on a spot gold price. Well, that sucks. Got to get to a computer, Haffy. Let's see here. Silver agents. Thanks, Sal. So bad I'm broke this month. Yeah, I hear you. 
I wasn't able to buy, take advantage of any of it either, to be honest with you. Maybe I should try the code THANKS100. There you go, Silver Backstacker. I like that. There you go. Thanks Unlimited, Doc, DOC Silver Stacker says. D Wings World says on how capitalism saved Thanksgiving. Sal, thanks so much for this great history lesson, information, and for preaching the good word of the system that has pulled more people out of the ditch and poverty than any other system on this earth. Yes, that's, that is exactly right. That uh, capitalism has pulled more, and American capitalism specifically, has pulled more people out of poverty than any other system that has ever been devised in the history of the world. Exactly right, D-Wings. All right, my newest uh, video, Gold Girls Mashup, which he mentions before. Stack more copper. Thanks, Gold Silver Blog. Appreciate you going back to that. April, Gabriel says, I saw the code in my email too. Unfortunately, I have to skip all these deals. That's no excuse. April, no excuse. No, I'm kidding. It's time to save up for something I really want, plus get for with Christmas and birthday coming up. I got to close a wallet for a little while. Yeah, that's actually an excellent point. You got to um, be uh, uh, fiscally responsible, and that's awesome that you're doing that and that's really cool priorities for sure so happy birthday or whoever's birthday it is coming up hope of five ounce comes friday doc silver stacker says yeah that would be nice hera heretic says john smith mapped the area and named it new england it's one of his books he wrote about how the common man could be the master of his own land and in the land of plenty very cool yeah uh, cool double bonus. Thanks for your info. Regard Silver and Gold Portugal says, check out Silver and Gold Portugal's channel. Portugal's channel. He's got some interesting coins that he's got there. And uh, very good stuff, indeed. Silver Strike. Looks like some of Mr. Mercanti's finest work on the three coins, or three metal set from 1988, America in Space. Uh, yeah, check that out if you haven't had a chance. It's kind of a cool little set there. Very good. D-Wings World, we'll have to check it out. Thanks, Sal, and many blessings to you and yours. Well, thank you, D-Wings. You're awesome, sir. Sandra Hendricks says, um, I started collecting silver art bars about 25 to 30 years ago. Uh, just because I like the art on the bars, not because they would go up in value. Never really paid much for them and never knew about silver stacking even as my collecting grew and grew and grew now that i know holy crap my best advice to young people stack 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 25 or 30 years from now you will be amazed and wealthy just buy some every week and put it away excellent advice that's the bottom line it is um um it is it is for the long haul all right i see there's some talk here about uh David, where is it? Where did I see that? Where did I see that? Mm. David, somebody, Karma. David Karma. I never, didn't know. Is he was he a new stacker? He had to shut his channel down or something. I hope he's all right. <clears throat> okay. Huzzar, Huzzar, 1683. Uh, this is on my crypto hack. Tether was as always risky and never a good investment. When I first bought Bitcoin and other cryptos in just under three months, I sold half my stack and eight times my entire stack. Double my stack and I still continue to invest and profit from cryptos. Bitcoin cannot be hacked like some of these other cryptos. Well, and never say never, but I agree with you. Tether was the, was the uh, tool to get an exchange or whatever. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who this David Karma guy is. He wasn't being honest, apparently, somebody said. Okay. Silver Cat. I got the email also. Probably going to check it out when we, and I get off work. Very cool. Awesome Silver Cat. Massachusetts Prepper says, sounds like a pretty good deal going for sure. Thanks for sharing, brother. Thank you for watching. Jake is love. It's a great deal trying hard to use a little discipline, and this is making it difficult. It is tough. I know what you mean, and I've had to use discipline too. I wasn't able to take advantage of it. 
Happy Thanksgiving one day late. Thank you, John Hartley. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving too. Oaksy88 says, I'm cautious when it comes to gem slabs. I think there's probably most below six nines. What the heck does YH mean? Oaksy88. He set it up here in the chat too. YH, he wasn't being apparently honest, Sal. What is YH? Anybody can know? I think Oaksy probably knows. Maybe he'll tell us. All right, John Hartley asks, how do you send a private message? I'm going to probably do a video on that because I think a lot of people don't know that, but I already told him that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay, okay. You just forgot the vowels in there, the vowels, okay. So that's short for, yeah, all right, I see. All right, thank you. Okay. Tricky guys. It's funny how metal travels to everywhere, but it's so hard to get it to travel to my pockets. Sal, do you have a metal detector? Lots of guys finding silver coins everywhere on park lawns, etc. It seems to be a relaxing hobby. Well, thank you, sir. Tricky guy. This is on the 1,500-year-old uh, Anglo-Saxon gold discovered video I just posted today. And uh, I do have a metal detector. It's not the best kind of metal detector out there, but it, it, it is um, it's fun. I've went out a couple of times, but it is kind of a fun hobby to do. Oh, no worries, Oaksy88. I would just, was, yeah, it's quicker. It makes sense. Now that I know, it's all good. Nice. Colton Scory is here. Hello, Colton. I don't think I've seen you before, so welcome. Indeed. Okay, RDMC Grat. Amazing how normal folks find ancient stashes like this in the old world areas. Here in the U.S., we just don't have the same level of history to find these types of caches. Sure, you can find Native American items, but not the precious metal items that you find in Europe, Asia, or Africa. Yeah, that's very true. And then John Hartley says it makes him want to break out the metal detector. Silver Wolverine says, I wish I could find a treasure. I need a metal detector. Yeah. I've got an Ace 250, but there's whites make some good ones too. <laughs> Mike Frederick says, any chance he can buy you a body bag on Amazon for Christmas? Credit card at the ready. <laughs> well, I tell you what, um, if it, you can buy me a sleeping bag, how's that? I'd be gladly take a sleeping bag from you. I need a money detector, Jakey loves says. <laughs> Jacob loves says. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see here. All right. Donald in New Mexico. Sal, makes me wonder how much treasure is found and never reported. I can't believe the majority of finders run and report their finds to the government. Well, I guess there's some initiative in the old country. As Cyber Curtain Twitcher said, uh, and I mentioned in that video, they are compensated for fair market value. Let's just hope the market value is fair. Uh, Funk Tad Forcelli, I believe it would be difficult to melt down ancient coins knowing you were destroying a piece of history. Yeah, I, I agree. I think if I found it, you know, I wouldn't want to melt it down either. I'm out of the case for, um, um, you know, for history and preserving history for sure. Coin Collecting Fun, so cool, my friend. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, thank you, Coin Collecting Fun. I hear you want a giveaway, by the way. No, it wasn't Peppers. Uh, let's see here. Zero hour, nice investment, cold, hard, actual money, not paper. Use paper, buy gold. Yeah, indeed. All right, dear hour. He's commenting on my homeless 100 ounces of gold video. Delta Lion One says 1,500-year-old cryptocurrency found. Said no one ever. Well said. Very pithy. Great. Hey, poppy stuff. Has got to head out. Well, Poppy Stuff, thank you for your um, for coming on and for your uh, knowledge about chocolate. I'll be careful with it. And thank you so much, Poppy. Poppy Stuff is awesome. I always love to see Poppy Stuff swing by here. Thank you so much. All right. Ooh, I got to be careful here because Mike Frederick's about to put the sleeper move on me. Let's see here. Okay. All right. James Hopkins says, here's the truth about Thanksgiving. 
It's a link to a page. History is written by the victor. Schools are institutions of brainwashing. The fables that were taught about Thanksgiving are just incomplete as the lies that were taught about Christopher Columbus was a great man who discovered America. If you are more scholarly in documentation, please read The Secret Founding of America, Real History of Freemasons, Puritans, The Battle of the New Worlds by Nicholas Hager. Or Hager. His thesis is essentially that the elite who founded America and have ever since run her hide behind a Christian veneer in the duplicitous Masonic agenda. He proves it conclusively with meticulous documentation and truly admirable style. Squanta spoke fluent English when the Puritans landed because he lived in England for many years before the Mayflower landing. Yes, that is a man, Masonic handshake at 112, <clears throat> at the video at 112. Yeah, there was a lot of Mason, a lot of the founders were Masons for sure. And, uh, but, uh, you know, you know, and obviously there is some, um, there's some things that happened in America that weren't good in the founding of the country, but, you know, overall the good outweighs the bad and the things like what happened, uh, with the, with the, um, uh, with the Mayflower and the, the, the discoveries there and all that stuff, I think overall is part of what made America what it is. The founding documents and the of our nation, I think, really kind of speak for themselves and the Federalist Papers, which explain them. The founders explain them. So, yeah. <clears throat> cool. All right. Thanks, Mud Swat, for that. Advice on how to counter a sleeper, wrap this arm around or under the elbow of their arm, push your hip up their pal pelvis and flip them over into your shoulder easy. I just got to tell them to uh, hold still while I get in those positions. And if not, then I'll fall asleep before then. Ooh, any good feline roast recipes? No, I try to avoid those, to be honest with you. Ah, yes. Let's see here. Sal, I'm I'm going out tonight. It's meant to be a Saxon field as well. I'll actually find something good and not just crap. Very cool. Nice. Oaksy was going to go metal detecting. Jerry says a good video about whatever happened to um, Silverfish VT and Big Stack McGee. Hey, that rhymes. Invite me to the chat room or hang, around. hang out. I'll be a great contributor. Well, I'm, we're here. Silver Gold Bug, waiting for you, my friend. You just got to pop in here into the chat room. We're all waiting here. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Okay. A uh, Silver Patriot Metal Detects is also waiting to find gold. All right. Very good. Yep. I've never found silver or gold in the few times I've metal detect. All right. <clears throat> Massachusetts Prepper. We are definitely hearing more about these types of findings throughout the world. And the news of these does travel much quicker these days with the internet. And it's funny when you hear different people describe uh, what they think the treasure is because when I'm walking in the parking lot and pick up a penny, I always say I found treasure because it was something I didn't have until that moment. That's a good point. And you know, you live in a part of the country. Um, a Massachusetts prepper where you might be able to find some pretty interesting stuff out where you're at. Mr. Monkey Swag. Ah, yes, Black Friday, a.k.a. Buy Plastic Chinese Crap Day. It's too bad the government uh, takes away all these coins from the finders. I doubt the government knows the market value of these coins. Many Anglo-Saxon coins are crude replicas of Greek and Roman coins. Yes, good point. Hera Heretic says, I found petrified acorns buried by ancient squirrels. All right. Ooh, Barb, three Turk, three um, meat on a bone there. All right, nice. Sal would make a great spit roast. Roast kitties aside. Oh, man. <laughs> SJ's Mixed Adventure had a good nap and is coming back from a nap. All right, very cool. Nice. All right, we're back here. Thomas Morrison says some speculators will make a huge profit, but all cryptocurrencies will eventually end in tears. The trail of tears of cryptos, it's inevitable. Yeah, some people feel pretty strongly, you know, about it. That's for sure. I found Bitcoin in the corner of the street next to the curb yesterday. I kept looking because I thought I would find more. A dream come true. 
Silver and Gold Portugal says, yes, indeed. About the, the 1,500-year-old uh, treasure find. Uh, gentry Silver, all gold is valued at today's fiat currency. As Churchill said, the further you look back, the farther forward you can see. Indeed, that's exactly right. That's why history is so important to know and learn. I agree. I love the old gold being found. Re cool, really cool. Well, thanks, Raven. Raven Hawk Coin, appreciate that. Awesome indeed. Let's see if anybody else has commented since Raven Hawk has. Hey, with that, we do have some more comments here. One Grizz man. I'm commenting on your video while watching your live comments. Well, I just, I'm responding to your comment verbally in a live stream that you were on from which you saw that you commented. Stack and AG 47 says, anything electronic will be hacked. No one will hack my silver and gold in my hands. That's right. That is some good hard truths to that one. That's for sure. Let's see here. Okay. A uh, numismatic Oki. Uh, I got a 10th ounce Chinese gold uh, pheasant for 188 because there's only 1,007 minted. So I feel the premium is worth it. Hope I'm right. Yeah, you probably are. I've never heard of that, the Chinese gold pheasant. That's kind of cool. Also, part one of the gold recovery you're finding is up for your viewing pleasure. I'll have to check that out, numismatic Oki. Check out numismatic Oki's channel. He is showing it how to recover gold and refine it which is pretty freaking cool, I must say. Let's see if anybody's, let's see if anybody's watched my channel. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got people watching. Broke over 200 views on that video. I wanna see if I can get this video here to get 10,900 views within four minutes. Can we make it happen, people? You guys do it, do it right now. Do it, do it, do it, do it. All right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, let me stop this and come back to you guys. And let's see this chat thing. Where's the chat thing? You're on the record now. Everybody's on the record. Everybody's on the record now. Let me see if I if I widen this up. Let's see here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. See that? Watch this. Ooh, real close, far away. You see what's going on there? You see that? Look at this. Look at that. Look at this, look at that. Look at this, that, and this, and that, and this, and that. It's like this, and like this, and like that, Anna. It's like this, and like that, and like this, Anna. You get what I'm saying? Whoop, whoop, Numis Madakoki says. I'm gonna check out his video. I will do it, because I wanna see how to refine that gold, you son of a goldsmith. Here we go, all right. Oh, now this is very nice, look at this. I mean, sometimes a troll, will actually say a prayer for me. Say a prayer for a Sal free, oh, oh, wait a minute, for a Sal free new year. He Okay, I get it now. He doesn't want me around in the new year. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was saying to please say a prayer for Sal for free in the new year. Let's, I'll take it as that, all right. Golden turd, unless they hack your hands off to get it. That's a good point, golden turd. Uh, let's see here. Can't hack the stack, Toker Talk says. Yeah, hard 40 is in the house. That's right, tricky guy. Yes, nice. We got the hard 40. What is it called when we hit 50 viewers? The nifty 50s, is that what it is? Corn stacker. Sorry, Wolverine, you put the reputation out there. Scammer takes your kindness for a chance to scam. Yeah, I got eight pheasants last week. None of them were gold. <laughs> we're in the freezer now. Wow. <laughs> CCT. Nice. That's awesome, CCT. <clears throat> okay. Half and sour secret levers. <laughs> How do you judge intelligence? Find out if they're a troll or not. Fantastic 50, yeah. Filthy 50 is dirty talk only. That's right. Jake is love. I'm going to start getting a little gold soon. Yeah, it's a good idea to do. Modern coin. By the way, there's going to be a video coming in early 2018 that I just filmed today. That's right. I just filmed the video today, but it will not be released until 2018. Maybe even Mike Frederick will like it. Maybe. And maybe even Alan Gold will like it. You never can know. You never can know. He trolls harder than Bruce Willis. Did you see um, that movie Split? Bruce Willis is at the end of that movie. 
Silver back stacker, yeah, got to make the R caps so it stands out. Corn, yeah, there you go. Corn Stacker G is awesome, by the way. Check out Corn Stacker G's channel. Yeah. Sal makes great target practice. I'm pretty good at target practice. I did pretty good with, let me see if I can find it here. I just had it earlier. This was, I was supposed to have this in a lot, another live. Um, let me see if I can do this right. The only way to do something right is to do it. The, the best way to do something, here's some sound advice for you people, okay? The best way to do something right is to do it correctly. That's something I've always, uh, that I've been told throughout the ages, to do it correctly. How's that for target practice, Mike uh, Frederick? That's a 50 caliber shotgun to peace. This is what I think about peace. Shoot it with a gun. That's what I'm talking about. No, I'm kidding. I like peace. That's what I'm talking about. This is how I test for silver to see if it's genuine or not. And you can see here that it's not genuine there. Okay. All right. Let me turn that off. Get back to the back to the front here. Where are where were we? Where were we? Okay, 50% gold, 50% silver. What's wrong with this hedge? Should have more silver. 20 gold, 80 silver. Yeah, it sounds good to me. If I can afford 50% of gold to 50% silver, I would do it. Overkill is awesome, man. I love Overkill. Great band, Hera Heretic. In union we stand. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Mike Frederick doesn't like split in the title, like you say. Oh, my gosh. Peace sells, but who's buying? Yeah, that's right. Funk Tad for Selly. Classic Megadeth for sure. Shot through the heart. You're to blame. You know, uh, yeah, the good old John Bon Hoagie, John Bon Jovi, indeed. Yes, indeed. What year? Uh, let's see. What year was that peace dollar? 1925. Common date. Have to make sound honorary Texas for shooting holes in silver dollar. That's right. Thank you, Tex man. Silver stagnant at the moment. It sure is. Or either that or he's saying silver is stagnant at the ATM machines. And it is very stagnant there too. Darling, you give love a bad name. There you go. That's right. Don't shoot you don't don't shoot your shotgun. Def Leopard. All right. Yes, indeed. Your hair is thinning in that video. Yep. Bozo remembers. For hedgers, the stagnancy of silver is its main virtue. Keep value steady. That's right. Exactly right. Numa's Matagoki, yeah, when he can do it for from 200 meters, he can buy an, <laughs> he can be an honorary Oki. So Pilot Dude loves his new Libertads. Very cool. Holler at you later, Corn Stacker says. All right, Corn. Appreciate you, my friend. Always good to see corn here. Silver's on sale. Touched 15 pounds this year. Mr. Monkey Swag, Sullivan Metal. Why would anyone counterfeit a 1925? It wouldn't make sense to fake. It would make sense to counterfeit a 21 or 28. Yes, it would. Well, you'd be surprised. When they can spit them out as much as they do, then, um, yeah, it's um, they'll do it. It's all about dollar cost averaging from the other end of the scale, and the Chinese are good at that, just popping them out. I posted a video about the, the counterfeits, and, uh, and I think it's precisely because of that, because it's such a common year, is why people may not think twice about it. And so if they can gain a little bit, you know, then doing that. Happiness is a cold salivate. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I get, I'm wearing a, a, a sweater right now, so I'm not cold right now, but I was cold earlier today. CCT, I'm just doing a live silver unboxing. Shame you all can't see it. Dang. Well, you know what? Hey, um, are you really doing it? I can't be on here much longer, CCT, but 
I'm going to probably, if I can find the time, guys, everybody that's here now, all 42 of you, I may do a hangout tomorrow, Silver Siren style. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what time. But CCT, if you are, if you are um, um, little, really doing a silver unboxing, let me know. I'll send you a quick link. All right, all right. CCT is going to do it live. Are you cool with it, CCT? In fact, I'll just post, post it real quick. I'm going to probably have to kick, I'm going to have to probably bolt here pretty soon. But anybody that wants to come in for this next time here. Here we go. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, but I'll stall. I'll actually talk though. Uh, Happy Sal, you are way past your fifty seconds, fifteen seconds of infamy. I sure am. Heck, I was past my fifteen seconds of infamy a split second in. Sixty-three degrees in Minnesota. Wow, it's dark here. Well, that might make it all the more fun. Oh, the irony of that, where it's dark, it's like almost. It's just after 12 o'clock midnight. This clock has struck midnight. It's dark. Everybody's in bed. It's just CCT here. We got Numismatic Oki, I think, is here. But, well, he's not saying anything, but that's okay. He's, he's... Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Can you hear me tomorrow? Can you hear me yesterday? If I go watch an old video. Oh, yeah, that's right. You sure can. Very good. Well, good to see you. Hey, uh, oh, Mike Frederick. God. Hold on a minute. Mike Frederick is getting ready to come in here. Oh, yeah, I no. Think, no, I'm kidding. He's not. He, he won't come in. Please flag this channel for worthless content. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, a, he's a special kind of guy. Yeah. He's a special. Yeah, he's a he's a friendly troll, though. He's he's not here. Oh. Hey, we've got Monkey Swag 96 is here. Why well, we need a CCT to unbox in the dark? You know, I wear my sunglasses at night, CCT. <laughs> That's so I can see, you know what I mean? And I play my oh. bass in the night, too. Nice. Hey, here we go. CCT is here. He's got to be – everybody keep your voices down because it's it's after midnight. And it's oh, it is, yeah. Yes. It's interesting to see that there's two Oklahomans in this video. Yeah. That's true. And we have Stephen Heath. We have a Sheffield being represented to us as well. But now we're focusing on CCTs. He has unboxed some silver. Shh, really quiet. We don't want to wake the neighbors. focus on CCT, like having present, on, you know, to present notes. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't kidding. I was actually unboxing some silver while we were chatting. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. As you can see, I haven't got very far yet. But let's see if I can work out where it's come from. All right. Well, it's like, it's Cyber, I mean, uh, mon monkey swag. I can barely hear you. You're like really staticky there. Something. Oh, I know. Uh, is there a way? Focus the presentation on CCT. Yes, I have him. I have him highlighted now. Okay. My camera's yeah. upside down for some reason. That's just the way it loaded. I don't know. It does that sometimes. Let me Hello, uh, up. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm presenting. Okay, there. Oh, Let's quite. See what we got in here. here. Can you all see him now? Oh no! Yeah. It, it exited. All right, let, let me try it again. Yeah. You can click on yourself, monkey. Here, there. Oh, I sorry, came back to the comment section. I'm going to stop my comments. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm going to stop my like comments. A, that looks like an airtight in bubble wrap. Oh, I know what that's for. There. And another airtight. Oh, and the Lunar Rooster. Oh, nice. nice. Hey, Opie, yeah. I can barely hear you. Uh, so, my, my camera's uploaded upside down for some reason. So. He's got a rooster. That's really good, the big problem this year for Mike Riley. <laughs> Hartley's here. Silver okay. porn. And we have the Mike Riley Fox, longtime defensive coordinator, on the banker in the 
boxes, and then they brought in Bob Bianco, who was the UConn head coach. John, you have something. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> we have the Queen's Beast Unicorn. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. The unicorn is nice. I need to get the unicorn. Yeah. What that air I got two. I love them. And a little rooster. What else have you got oh, here? Very yeah. well packaged, I must say. Oh look, we've got some pills. Huh. And there's the bubble. And we have. The oh, I'll do it upside down because my camera's uploaded upside down. Oh, you got the proof oh, swan, nice. The proof swans as well. Oh, so there God. you go. You pay those crazy premiums for it, like it, that you know Atmex is selling them for. <laughs> no, I didn't pay that. <laughs> I okay. bought these ages ago, so I didn't pay those crazy premiums at all. Right. I'm, I'm going to drop out because my camera's uploaded upside down, Sal, and it's irritating me. I'm having to do everything upside down. Oh, yeah. I wish I could have the ability to turn you around here, but <laughs> only you can turn yourself around over there. I could turn the camera upside down. Yeah. Right. I'll drop back into the outside. So for those in the U.S., how's your Thanksgiving? It was great. Really good Thanksgiving. Really good. How was yours? Oh, I had my. Oh, mine was great. I had mine like two days ago. Oh, nice. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Had some, had some French fried taters. And my oh, French fried taters and biscuits with mustard on them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Can somebody translate for me, please? Hey, Stephen. Hello. Good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. How How's are you, the, sir? How is the wall doing up there? Oh, it's come down. It's come down. The dragon blew it down, didn't he? Yeah, the dragon with blue fire. Yeah, with blue fire. He turned. You ever watch uh, Walking Dead? Yes, I watched Walking Dead, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, you know, he became, he turned with the, uh, the Night King turned him over just like a zombie. Crazy. That, that's what I was worried about with the tiger, that the tiger would, would turn into a zombie. Oh. It didn't happen. Eat the tiger burgers. And you got to eat tiger burgers. Exactly. That's right. Uh, you know, Walking Dead reminds me of those Zombucks, you know, because, you know, Zombucks became popular because of the Walking Dead craze. Yes, exactly. Yeah, back in like 2013. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. Oh, yeah. It seems like so long ago now, doesn't it? Now there's some people that are starting to get interested in the uh, Zombucks again. Yeah, well, I'm... Um, uh, they're being offered again at Provident Metals for like oh, yeah. a. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that yeah. video. Yeah, I, I really like the Slade, the, the Slade Dollar. The Slade Dollar is my favorite. And the Saint because, you know, the Saint the lady looks sexy on it. I'll decapitating a zombie. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that one was. Yeah, the cool. Saint and the Slade, Slade Dollar. Right. Yeah, they're, they're pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty wild detail, especially in the later ones, you know. Yeah, but nobody liked the the dying eagle. Yeah, that one was a little bit. That one was a little bit weird. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> some, some people were calling it the molting eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did like, kind of. Yeah, it did kind of look like that. Yeah. Silver and gold Portugal was stopped in. Nice. Hello. Good to see you. He's got a kind of a cool little channel. He. Uh, He's got um, – shows some really interesting pieces and kind of ties it in with uh, some of the towns and some of the landmarks there in Portugal. Yeah. Oh, Sal. 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 Yes, yes, sir, Stephen. Uh, uh, I spoke to the people about who, who I got the knife from, and he says there could be uh, like a little plastic stopper in the bottom. You know, that's but, what it is. What you put the put your tip of the blade in so it doesn't snap. That could be it. Yeah, and I've been I've been trying to I've been pulling little pieces of it out when I tried to uh, when I, I mean, uh, they, they 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 make these knives and they put them in really really cheap horrible sheaths. Right. And that's exactly what's going on, but it's just so compacted in there because I've tried to stuff it in there. 
Uh, Some well, little piece. So you're right. I've been pulling little pieces out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. By the way, John Hurley, you're still on mute, my friend, in case you're trying to talk. And, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Numismatic Oki muted uh, John Hartley, so I think I had to tell Numismatic Oki that. Does that help? Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, there we go. Okay, very cool, very cool. It's, it's yeah, technology. I'm not good at it, I'm, but I was just behaving myself over here with my beer. Oh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, very cool. But, yeah, Mr. Monkey's Black. Yeah, it's pretty neat. The, the whole series, I like the Saint, too. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. But, well, the Slate Dollar is my number one favorite just because she's holding that scythe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is cool. That is cool. Hey, uh, Stephen Heath, what's the story be behind the coat of arms for your avatar? Uh, that's the football team I support. Sheffield Wednesday. Okay. What we call soccer in the States. Yep. That's football. I, yep. Nice. In fact, Sal, I was talking to Mr. Zeke the other day. He actually he actually supports the same football club. Oh wow, that's cool, man. That's wild. Oh, cool. Um, you know, Mr. Zeke is from the same city as me. I visit his coin shop sometimes. Yeah, they, they, we're, they're actually we're actually Sheffield Wednesday are celebrating the hundred and fiftieth anniversary this year. Yeah. That's awesome. It's amazing the different connections here in the community, whether they live in the same state or across the sea or what have you. You know, it's it's really cool. Yeah. Big Lori just sent me a silver bar. It's really cool. Oh, nice. Very nice of Big Lori. Yeah. Very I mean, cool. I didn't even win this contest. I just, you know, he just sent a bar to all the participants. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. I may have missed that uh, giveaway, but very cool. Well, guys, you know what? I appreciate it. I didn't realize we'd have a, a full-on, um, uh, a pretty good little hangout here. I'm probably going to be doing this tomorrow, uh, an actual hangout, Silver Siren style. Yay, though, I will actually probably be talking instead of typing. Um, but um, stay tuned, um, and, um, and we'll probably be coming back on tomorrow, if that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I uh, appreciate you guys for sure. But the, oh, let me read this from Tricky Guy. It says, Tricky Guy, Sal, why does it say proof like round on the notifying insert of the package instead of proof round on your one ounce round? Is your proofing not fully applied or what? What that means is that uh, an actual proof and proof like are two dis distinct things. In other words, it's, um, it's not fully proof. And I think proof is really applied more to coins than rounds, although there can be proof rounds too. But it just means that it's not going to have quite the quality as an actual proof round. But they actually have come out pretty well. I've seen – I've got a couple of the proof salivate rounds, and they did a pretty good job with them. But it basically gives them sort of an out in case there's like little um, – um, dust marks or something that can come through in the dyes where maybe some of the frosting might be um, not quite as, as uh, cameoed or uh, sometimes dust gets in the dyes and stuff like that and cause issues. So that's where that designation is. Yeah, um, I mean, because the finish of a coin does not really designate it as a proof. For example, you know, the peace dollars, the proof peace dollars are matte, have a matte finish. Right. Distinguishable from a regular piece dollar. It's just there's just a difference in the care that's applied to the planchets, like you know, because the proofs come packaged in special packaging while while the BU coins are just dumped into bags. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's um it's it has it is a lot has to how the planchets are made. In fact, I posted a video where I unboxed some um or I don't know if I unboxed it, but I showed some planchets of the salivate metal rounds the ones that were bullion grade and others that were that were finished to be proof and it was in the uh actual blank so good point monkey swag for sure um uh, abby silversack is asking what time tomorrow i'm not sure exactly depends on the schedule but i'm hoping probably tomorrow afternoon sometime in eastern time so i'm hoping uh, around maybe between maybe three and six eastern time maybe um, I like to be able to catch a time where I can get as many people to come in as possible from either the UK or in California too. That's that's a good time, Sal, because the Gamecocks play the Clemson Tigers at seven thirty tomorrow night. 
cool. All right, very good, John. Yeah, that's that's cool. So we'll get it. Yeah, we'll get in before that. Thirty. You won't see me. Right. I understand. Awesome. Very I'll cool. be watching. The game. Hey, Sal. What what time is it again? Because I'm I'm from Central Time. All right. I, it's going to be probably between. Um, That'd be two to five Central. Yeah, two to five central, two between two and five central, somewhere around there. I'm hoping. Oh man, because I I get off of work at two, but I, I'll try to see if I can join it. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you can. What, if you what's can. work? What's that, John? What's work? Yeah. What's work? Yeah. What is work? work? You said work. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm still a college student, but I still work at like a supermarket because you know I'm a college student. Bozo, I'm thank retired. you. Thank you for coming on, Bozo. I have been retired hey, since, since. When did I retire? Six years ago. Clearly, a long time ago. You forgot. And CCT will join us tomorrow, if possible. Show us some cool gold, gold piece picked up. Nice. Which will be awesome. Well, cool. Well, sounds good, everyone. I certainly appreciate you guys. This has been fun. Yes, sir. And, uh, yeah, so we'll try to do that somewhere between uh, 2 and 5 Central Time, 3 and 6 uh, Eastern Time. just depends. It just depends to see what's going on. Um, and we'll kind of go from what there. That in the UK? What's that? What time is that in the UK? In the You're UK, five hours, ahead. five hours ahead. So um, let's see. Mike Frederick, he's my calculator, so he'll tell us what the time is. He's going to tell us in the comment section there. He's my uh, – He's my secretary. It's half past twelve. Yeah. He'll do the he'll do the math for us. Mike Frederick will. Yeah, they're five hours ahead of. Uh, five hours. So two plus five that'd be seven o'clock. If it's a two o'clock um, or a three o'clock, it'd be um, eight o'clock. At the moment in the UK, it's uh, it's uh, half half an hour past midnight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Very good. All right. Well, cool. Seven thirty here, East Coast. Yeah, that's right. Don't tell me what it would be in um, in um, Nigerian time because I don't know that. We'll have to ask the princes to have all our money. Yeah, and we're going to have Alan Gold come on, and he's going to sing us a song with a guitar. And and he's going to do it. He's going to do an leotard. He's going to do an leotard because he's a leotard. Bring him on at seven thirty so I can miss it. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll have him do it at 7.30 when the game starts, and that'll, all my viewers will go away when, when Mike Frederick comes on in a Desmond Tutu yeah. and, and singing a song um, and, you know, with his little guitar like, like Tacos does, and he'll drive all my viewers away. That'll be the way to get my channel to be shut down, Mike Frederick, is if you come in and sing for us. Yeah, I believe. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, hey, appreciate you guys. I hope you all have a one. <laughs> hey, pilot dude just gave us a Nigerian time. It's one twenty nine a.m. That's awesome. He's. I, we've got a very, we've got a very uh, informative audience here. This is great. Yeah, happy buy Chinese crap day. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, Mister Monkey Swag. That was we awesome. Don't do it. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hard. All right, guys. Thank you, Mister M and M nine eleven. Appreciate you, my friend, and everyone. Chuck Delano. You guys have a great one. And Barb, thank you for coming on. Appreciate everybody. And we'll we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.